have just arrived just arrived in Stockholm it is half past midnight guys it is fresh out here in these streets I am excited I'm here with Emma Emma was a uh, she loves a twirl she loves a twirl we're here which is ordered our Uber it's um, like 499 sec which is about 40 pounds to get to where we're going to I am so excited guys welcome to Sweden Good morning. It is entirely too early. See how crusty I look. We'll sort that out later. Right now, we're in a rush. We need to go to the train station. It's about seven o'clock and make our eight hour journey all the way up to Ahe, Ahe, Ahe. TB confirmed. I want to give a quick shout out to Omeo who are the sponsors of this video. Omeo is a travel platform that allows customers to find and book trains, buses, flights and ferries across Europe. Not as smooth as I envisioned, but hot water bottle. Omeo are basically shaking up the travel planning experience and providing customers with more choice and easier ways to book. Traveling across Europe can be a little bit complex with all the different providers, all the different ticketing, pricing, languages, different sites, different transport systems. It can all be a bit of a mess, to be honest. Omeo makes it easier for you to compare and book your tickets. My favorite feature on the app is a mobile ticket, meaning that you could just show your ticket to the conductor on the train without having to worry about where is it, when I put it, which email, which reference. Oh, the stress. Omeo provides is the fastest and easiest way to book your trip to the slopes so if you're planning a trip across europe be sure to check my description box and click the link to download the omeo app so it has been over six hours on the train we are so close to our destination we're about 40 minutes out to Are. we've just been basically sleeping it's a long long train journey our train was at 7 49 in the morning and we're due to get to the station at 2 45 we are so excited to get there because we've just been looking at all the stuff like that the window it's so white lots of trees i'm just excited to know what it feels like to be outside i feel so dusty and crusty but we shall fix that after a nice good night's sleep Okay, got it. Guys, we are finally in Ohe. We are here. Oh, I'ma give me a whoop whoop. She doesn't have the whoop whoop yet. <laughs> we are here, guys. Let's try and get to the station, get to the hotel. It looks so picturesque. We have made it. This is our taxi. Hotel Grena. Gr how, how did you say it? Granen. 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 Yes. Uh, like a Christmas tree. Yes, perfect. Yeah. Yes. Granen, what is that? The red thing. Is this yeah, bus stop or train no, station? It's a train stop. Okay. Oh, look, uh, but normally you use this side. This side. There's not so much train coming in there. Okay. Well, let's do it. The floor is incredibly slippery. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's gonna look dry in, in three minutes of us being here. Yikes. Gotta work on that. Get on it. This is my carry-on guys. I wanted to show you. I've actually vacuum packed quite a few bits. Once it's vacuum packed, it's tiny and it fits in here alongside a whole bunch of other stuff. In my main suitcase, the whole thing is vacuum packed because you need big coats. It just takes up so much space. So this, let's open this up so you can see. I got these vacuum pack bags from Argos. They're like $7.99 or $6.99, very cheap. This would have taken up half the room in my suitcase. See? Oh, I might wear this actually. I'm gonna shower. Shower time. So we have just finished getting ready, had a shower. 
car feels so clean oh my goodness it was like a seven hour journey on the train it wasn't actually that bad you'd think it's a lot more uncomfortable because of the time but the train itself is really very comfortable can you see how warm i look i'm gonna look so so cozy in this whole entire vlog what time is it out 5 p.m. It's quite dark outside, but we want to go and just have a little mooch around the square and then go to the supermarket. I love supermarket runs in different places. Look at the supermarket, get some wine, of course. Amma early one was like, when she opens wine, it reminds her of me. Imagine a whole wine reminds her of me, but it's very much, it's very true. Like, I am the wine connoisseur. Apparently, the square is not too far from here. The location of this hotel is perfect. I'll put the hotel link below as well, the name of the hotel. But it is literally a seven minute drive from the station. And the taxi guy said that the square is like a short walk from here. So, we're gonna walk there, go to the supermarket and then come back and have dinner. That's the plan. Let's do it. Guys, this is, we're outside for the first time. Oh, Amma, come, ooh! <laughs> I was just gonna say, come show us your shiny boots, but just, they just let you slip. So we have these new amazing boots. This is not a promo, because they didn't want to gift us, but. <laughs> Got these amazing boots, they're called moon boots. And they're meant to be perfect for the snow, but Amma has just slipped. It's the hotel, so cute, so Christmassy. That's the name of the hotel there. Yikes, gotta be so careful, please. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is exciting. I expected it to be like crazy cold. I told you, it doesn't feel cold. No, it just feels like normal cold. A little bit more spicy, you know? I thought I was gonna be dying. But I'm not, it's actually all right. That's our hotel there. And then the guy, taxi man dropped us here and he said if we walked all the way down this way, we'll end up in the square. So that's what we're gonna do. Got these boots on and they should help us. Look at my shadow, the Kiana. Buster, oh, you can see my booty cheeks. This looks like a little Christmas town. It's so cute. Guys, my ears are popping for some reason. Is that a bar? Oh, I know where we're gonna hang out. It is cute. It's very cute. We're now in the square. There's like pubs. There's a nice little chill spot there. There's a burger spot here. There's a pizza, meat and pizza place. It's quite cool. And then the station's down this way. Guys, my ears are popping. Do you think it's because we're high up? Or is it because I'm ill? Mixture. Should we go to the supermarket or should we eat? We can do the bar after. With our supermarket bags. Oh. It's already a bite. <laughs> Says the girl who went on a date with suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't really a vibe either, but that's, that's what you find yourself good. doing, so. I am for one of food. Oh, he sounds lit. <laughs> Lydia's looking for her, looking for a Scandinavian boyfriend. I'm she really not. Me. That's a big she fat lie. You're trying to jeopardize. <laughs> She's trying to jeopardize the love of my life at the moment. It's a big fat lie. I'm fully in love. Oh my hmm. god. Are yeah. You edit that in. No, I'm gonna leave it in. Ah. He knows. He knows what's up. Ah. This place is actually really well equipped. Like you've got bars, restaurants. Yeah. It's really not as remote as weird as I thought. It would be. But it's um. It looks like a little cute village, don't you think? Like someone's just playing Monopoly with us. I'm loving it. Guys, I'm in the cold and I'm not crying. My hand, wow. Yeah, next time, gloves for sure. We ha I have like three sets of gloves. I just didn't bring them. Look, this is Google Translate. Peruvian chicken, parmesan, shrimp, sausage, pork. Should we just go for meatballs? Surely that's the first thing we should do. We are back to where we started. Do you guys remember the red bus stop? Our taxi picked us up from somewhere around here. We're gonna go to the supermarket, get a few snacks, Get some drinks. You have to be careful. There's like all this slippery ice here. Oh, warm. Oh, look at those. Those look cool. Okay. He was walking funny, wasn't he? So we are at the train station and there is a supermarket here called Ikare. I think. One basket. Open to me. I don't understand their currency, but I have this currency app and it's just called currency. I showed you guys this in Bali. Oh, yes. This has got my name all over it. These, no, it's 79 per kg. If they had Cheetos, I would be so happy. No, I want American Cheetos. Please make my day. We've got a very nutritious shop. <laughs> Don't show them, please. <laughs> Don't show them that. <laughs> we're here for water. That's what we're here yeah. for. Fresh air, water. Where's the wine and the Prosecco? <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at the translation. This is a good drink. Get, <laughs> get one of those. That's a good drink. Yeah, there's a slope on the side there. Oh, that's what you're saying, night skiing, right? Because yeah. it's floodlit. Supermarket run complete. We are now going to the pub, you know, testing out local cuisine and whatnot. The way Bean Boots could have um, improved their thing is by adding extra grip. Extra grip in them, right? But I think it's more for like snow than it is for ice. Yeah. They're warm though. That's, that's Very warm. That. We'll rate these boots quite highly, guys. I still have this problem with my knee, so it's gonna be quite telling tomorrow when we get on the slopes. Hopefully, we can try and organize. Amma, we need to get lessons. But my knee is quite painful. Like, I've had this weird thing on my knee since like New Year's Eve. If you watch my last vlog, I fell on the floor for no reason because my knee just gives away. So, we have to be quite careful. That's tomorrow's worries. Today, I'm trying to find a pub. I think I'm actually gonna be a seasonal skier. Yeah? Because you like the vibe of this place, it's don't you? Yeah, it's a cute, cute vibe. It's a vibe. Look at how pretty it looks. It looks like Christmas, but like all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a little cute Christmas town. Yeah. But like Amma said, it doesn't look overpowering. It's not too much in your face. No. But at Christmas time, I can imagine this would be very cute. Yeah. This is the pub we're gonna go head into. It's only right we get a cider. have just got back from the pub look at my my jumper this is what I was didn't want to happen it's okay it's okay it's okay the last meal I ate was literally yesterday what time was it was it like, like 7 p.m. we had Nando's and I haven't eaten until today it's 24 hours later but it was delicious we're gonna go upstairs and have dinner upstairs the taxi driver said that this is one of the best places to have dinner so we're so lucky because we're actually staying here and we're just gonna see what the menu says we don't need this because it's so warm indoors wow the pub that we went to the lady said that on Monday nights it pops off in there so if we don't fall asleep we might go out also got my hair done by iffy london colored it's my first time going red it's like cherry with black roots i'm not giving the, the wig the best light right now because obviously it's messy lady dinka style if you will be screaming through the screen <laughs> very cute i'll style it properly tomorrow morning and then you guys can see what it looks like for now let's go eat some food <laughs> Pork cheek, that sounds great. Ravioli with confetti duck. Yeah, let's try that. That's a classic, right? This is the first bit of food we've had in 24 hours. <laughs> up to reception saying she's cold and of course she comes back with a, <laughs> with a whole radiator, a radiator and her hot water bottle filled up yeah i don't play about with the cold boy i'm ill <laughs> i'm ill as it is you see oh, this wow. if i could sleep hugging this i would <laughs> Good 
morning. Good morning. Amma said good morning. There she, she, no spin, no twirl. There we go. That's the girl we know and love. Just had breakfast. Breakfast was really good. Surprising me, really, really good actually. Loads of stuff. In other news, <laughs> I got accidentally got man gloves. <laughs> Look at the size of my hands. They're from ASOS. They're very warm, but size medium to large. And I have the smallest hands. As you can see, it's fresh outside it's not even as cold as you think i said this before but it's not we are on our way down to the ski shop we need to go and book our ski rentals and then book our ski lessons as well this should be one at 1 30. you can actually normally book it on the website but the website is down but the good thing is that our hotel is literally three minutes down away from the square so it's fine <laughs> guys this is like it's like a wi-fi thing that you can attach to you if you're going skiing um so that if something happens to you if you get an avalanche if you get lost they can find you the guy who was in that film optic needed that that scared me okay we're in Those chicks about to hit the floats. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> got her boots fitted right here. Got her skis there. We've got the bus timetable. God, we're well prepared. So we have to be there at 105. At the bus stop? Yeah. That's the only bus we can take. Otherwise, the other one is 150. Then we miss our lesson. Yeah. Yikes. We don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm out of breath. 150. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I tried okay. to wave at the guy, he's looking at me like <laughs> Hello Did you not see the guys in the window? Did they do gang gang? Yeah they're like this, gang Oh gang. I didn't see that I didn't see the guy, the guy at the front was just looking at me like what the f No the, there was two guys, one had like a Louis V bag We love to see it to Gucci bum We love bag. to see it, we love to see it gang. Guys, oh my god out of breath Sweden Aware <laughs> Ore 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 Guys we have rented our skis It took like a good, how long? 20-30 minutes? Yeah Got them fitted. Only because of some technical difficulties. Yeah. If my... you book in advance, you'll be all, you'll be all good. Don't be like us, because <laughs> technically we might not even have had the chance to go yeah. skiing today because they are meant to do this well in advance. But this is Lydia and Emma style, you know. Last minute. Kalankis. <laughs> oh god. I feel like we're back at the Kalankas by the end of this walking. I'm so out of breath. Let me get to the hotel. I can't come come myself because of vlogging. What's this? <sighs> Dying for it. Can you hear me? We have just had a kerfuffle. Amma, chat to them, let them know. We've had a kerfuffle, major kerfuffle. Um, we literally have no idea where we're going. And there's so much stuff to carry. There's like skis, goggles, hat, um, the ski, whatever, whatever you call those things. And we literally had no idea where we were going. We are meant to get a bus up five minutes past one. That didn't happen. So now we're in a taxi heading up to the mountain, hopefully to the right place. It's so hard to figure out which ski slope. There's a hundred ski lifts and we're on ski lift number 19 and we didn't even know what the name of it is it's all in swedish the taxi driver was confused we're confused we're just like ah, we have a lesson at half one please please make it work um i have my gopro and i have the mount but i haven't got the clip to clip the gopro in so that's useless so i don't even know how i'm going to show you guys the skiing stuff but boy i'm just really hoping that we make it in time for our lesson it's like three kilometers up this way i don't even know what that means in time wise but hopefully it's enough time so i'm hoping We have made it. We have made it to ski school. Ski school. <laughs> Guys, these are the most uncomfortable boots ever. I am petrified to be here. Amma has gone inside to find out about our lesson. We have private lessons. I'll put the price of everything in the description box because I can't remember how much it was in GBP. Taking the taxi was a very, very good idea because obviously we have no idea what, what we're doing. Wow, that's so cool. You can ski, um, if you are disabled, you can still ski. They've got like special, I don't know if that sounds insensitive, I don't mean it to you, but they've got special like boards where you can sit on so someone else can ski with you. But yeah, we're here, we're skiing, I am so excited. It is not as cold, I keep saying, but it's not as cold as you think. London actually feels colder than this. Oh, that's so cool. That was really pro. This is the ski school. I have no idea what anything is called, but they've got, I think there's a lift going down that you can come back up restaurant and a shop here beautiful day and it's nice and bright up here and this is the school there oh 
these boots. These boots are so clunky and they're so heavy. Mine might be a bit too tight, I think. Oh, look, look, look at his little kid. Oh my God, he's so good. Okay, so Amma says that we need to go to that lady. You see that sign there? We don't even know how to get there. <laughs> we, don't, we don't even know how we're gonna get there because there's people like whizzing through and we are so bad. Like, well, Amma might be, Amma, how are you like skiing? I'm She's okay, good. I'm but I haven't done it for ages, so yeah. I'm a bit. Time to take these skis for a run. This ski suit is from ASOS. This is from Boohoo. Um, thank you guys for hooking your girl up because I have all the gear with no idea. At least I look good though. <laughs> so you see how I'm standing. This is how you stop. Basically, the wider the pizza shape, the easier it is for you to stop. You need to have the skis digging into the side. The first task was just to walk up the slope from like that point there to here. It's taken us 20 minutes <laughs> to walk up. The lesson's an hour and a half. Oh my god, look at Amma. Amma, look at you go! Woo! It's my turn to go down. Down and then pizza. Pizza to stop. But that's what I'm going to remember, right? We're about to go up the ski lift and you have to push yourself off it. And I'm just honestly petrified. I'm just a learner, babe. So this is the bit when I have to let go. Ah! Throw it away! Do I throw it away? Obstacle one done. Now we're gonna go ski down. The view is incredible. Our lovely instructor, Hannah. <laughs> She's literally going through it all. I know, <laughs> with us. Is setting because you see how orange and beautiful it is let me show you the sun that is beautiful we're now pro and catch me on whoa, whoa, our whoa. friends <laughs> catch me on Maldine catch me in Sweden catch me everywhere honestly the above statements are for Amma and Amma only I am not a pro however I am not as petrified or scared as I was it's actually good fun and it's not as scary My hair is a mess we've been doing this little baby look like at this little baby slope but it's fine. You go up on the on the T lift there, and it kind of swoops you up. Give us model. Give us. Is that a twerk? It's like a mosquito being sp sprayed by repellent. Right. Skis back on, guys. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm give it a review out of 10. Uh, 10 out of 10 when I'm coming back. Wow, can you imagine from like being petrified of getting on and being terrible at putting skis on? Whoop, <laughs> terrible at balancing. But now we're coming back. Imagine when you're like fully confident, you're going up to the top. Zoom all the way, down. I know, zooming all the way. Imagine, oh my god. So far, we just did the biggest one we did was this one here. You see this one here? Like this. That's when I crash into a tree, but we don't need to know about that. <laughs> That's a slight faux pas. I got footage of this. Yikes. <laughs> that footage might just disappear, you know. Off piece. <laughs> so glad we did the um, the lesson. Yeah. It's literally dark. The sun comes out at like 11, 12 p.m. It's kind of weird. But fantastic. Definitely recommend you to try this if you haven't before. Literally, I have two left feet and I managed to do it with crashing only one time into the tree. <laughs> so, and I didn't even hurt myself. And I 
have a dodgy knee. Guys, I can do it, you can do it. Definitely gonna come back. Right, I'm gonna put my hands back in the gloves because it's a bit cold, it's a bit cold for the hands. And uh, we'll see you guys a little bit later on. Bye! Oh my God, I'm so happy. My dad's gonna be so proud of me. So, so freaking proud. Look, I'm still alive, dad. Woohoo! <laughs> right. Oh, I hope he waits for us as we fiddle. Put your skis at the back. We're gonna hop on the bus. Ooh, there you are. <laughs> so, excuse my hair. We're making our way back down town. Got in the bus. Guys, it was incredible. Uh, so, the ski pass also gets you this bus ticket as well. As you can see, we're going down the mountain. We had to take the cab in the morning because, well, earlier on because we were running in late and we had a lesson to get to. But the lesson was fantastic. Our trainer, Hannah, was so, so good. She was so helpful, so kind, so patient. And she had good buttons. Got a helmet hair, but you know the vibe. My wig has been on my head for like, this is the third day, three days in a row now, and it hasn't moved at all, at all. Shout out if you're London. Obviously it looks nicer when it's brushed and when it's not hair hatted. Skiing, 10 out of 10. We took a cab back from the bus station, the big cab, because you can you need to store your skis at the back. And now we are back home. It feels so good to be home, safe, alive, no injuries. It feels so good. A lot of stuff. That's the one thing that it is. It's very bitsy, isn't it? Very bitsy. These boots are so weird to walk with my shins. No. But it was good when I was skiing. Taking these off. <sighs> we have until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning to take these back. You can store your skis in here. This is our room number two, so we're gonna put ours in here. I know, the boots are a nightmare. Nightmare, let's start with these. Apparently this is the boot room. It's so warm in here, I might come and nap in here later. I don't understand how happy I am that we managed to both go skiing and didn't get any injuries whatsoever. Oh, look at them, look where the key was. This bag was perfect, no? Yeah, look at that. Boohoo. Boohoo. Came through with the, the helmet too. <laughs> with all the stuff. <laughs> we are at some burger joint. That's gonna be our dinner today. We're just gonna order some burgers. There's like express deals here that you can order from. That's what Emma's doing behind me there. And then just go, probably sit in and eat. I like the color scheme of it. It's nice and bright. It reminds me of something of like Teletubbies. This is right in the square. We are so close to everything. It's actually fantastic. It makes it so much easier for us to explore. Um, so we're gonna have some food and then probably try it to go out. But we need to plan tomorrow first. Okay, I need English. So today, we're doing a bit of content creation for the gram. As you can see, I'm wearing this absolutely ridiculous dress. It's see-through, it's diamantes all over the gaff. I'm gonna go and take some pics in it. 
it's freezing cold outside and it really doesn't make sense but just a look and i'm wearing this cardigan for the moment or is this a look Emma, how about with a cardigan? This is from the PLT Sweetie range. I really liked it. It's the dress and it's the headscarf thing. Do it for the gram. Do it for the gram, I said. And I'm going to try and shoot one with like the cardigan on top as well. Just to have a little bit of vari variation. Variation. I'm just looking for her phone. She's lost it. It's up here. Look. Of course, the lanky legs would put it up here. <laughs> look where it is. Yeah. That's what um, Teddy calls her. What, what does he call What does he call you? Long, long, le long, long limb, limb, long limb Peter. <laughs> Hello, hi. It's your bougie auntie coming through, guys. I slipped twice in like three seconds, and now I'm scared. We spent the morning shooting. First of all, you guys are gonna ask about these glasses. They're not mine. They're Amma's, and Amma got them from Trinidad. They're so good. They're like filtered. The sky looks so like extra beautiful. Can you imagine what it's gonna be like at the top? Jogging up the hill in snow. Wow. That could never be me. We're going to a cable car and it's like one of the oldest here. That's what I read on the website yesterday. That's what we're doing today. Spent a little bit of time in the morning shooting some content, you know, Instagram influencer life. I look so fucking cute. I look so cute. Wow. Never knew I could look like this. This is what the sky looks like. And let me show you the sky through the glasses. Oh, see, look at what I'm looking at. It's amazing. A bit dark, but amazing. Oh, we just need to cross the tracks and then walk up that way. So, so pretty. So, disappointing news. We came to the ski lift place, not ski lift, cable car place, and it's actually closed because too much wind. So we're gonna try again tomorrow, though we're leaving tomorrow. It's a bit bummy, because that was our plan for today. But we're gonna go and try and see if there's anything else we could do, or just chill, I suppose. What's absolutely wild is that, do you see how high up? I don't think you can actually tell how high up this thing is. And we've just seen like two children, there was one that was five, five year old coming down that. I had to stop when I asked her dad, I was like, how old is she? <laughs> and then she was like, oh, she's five. And I'm like, are you not scared when she comes from the hill? She's like, no. She's like, no, she's been doing this since she was three years old. I'm like, three? I'm 27 and I can't even manage like a quarter of that. And then he just sent her off down another hill and I'm just thinking, Jesus. I don't know, I'd be too scared to have my little children, but Anna says that children are young and yeah, they bend. Children and are very versatile, they learn things quickly. But they also break easily, no? No, they don't. They fall over, they bounce back up. They're not like us decrepit old. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, ooh, me knee, ooh, me back. She was so confident, she didn't even have any sticks. Like, she, she was just, going off on her own, she was like, I wanted to go that way. I wanted to go that way, daddy. And dad's like, no, not this time round. Down this steep hill instead. <laughs> yeah, my dad would never allow that, honestly. What? But I think it's good. It lets the kids um, have a sense of adventure and that, I suppose they don't really have any fear in them. Which is a good and bad thing sometimes, but do you know how I feel? And how, what I would be if I went down that hill? This. Broken. <laughs> So, buying a white jumper, a white hoodie. Can you see when I have brown makeup? Look at the neck. Tomorrow I have a super, super exciting activity booked for 10 o'clock in the morning. I am so excited. I don't know what to wear. Maybe I should do like ski clothes or normal clothes. If any of you think about coming skiing, I would definitely recommend that you get at least one ski jumpsuit or like one proper ski outfit. You can honestly just manage with your normal clothes so long as you have like layers. If you want to do like a thermal layer underneath and then like just normal clothes on top, it's so, so fine. The moon boots that I got, obviously not sponsored, but absolutely 10 out of 10 like definitely a great investment i got mine from amazon and they were like 56 or 60 pounds my hair is growing so fast and i don't want it to grow i need to get it shook cut again don't tell Teddy, but i forgot to bring my brush so it's gonna be annoyed at me but um i just want to take my makeup off and head over to bed it is wow 9 30 it gets so so dark so quickly it was dark by like 3 p.m so by the time it's 9 you're actually exhausted and you feel like You've been up for the whole night. I'm gonna take my makeup off and I'm gonna go to bed. I shall see you guys tomorrow morning for my super exciting activity.
Bye guys. Good morning guys. Good morning. Let's go. Our last morning. We have to to breakfast. Nice little nook in there. 8 o'clock in the morning but it's dark. because it gets dark really quickly so um we're in a hotel room we watched all the episodes caught up i am so addicted i didn't even know that this could be me and i'm disappointed that this is me explore all right that's the right place so this is the place this is the place hello oh hello hello look at this this is it oh it's you oh hello oh so many friends so many friends Hello! Definitely work on the oh, it's so good! Okay. Yes. So, I have got here, and it's not snowmobile, it's a snow quad, and I'm the only person. So, I get a private lesson. I get a private lesson. <laughs> this guy's looking at me like, what is this girl up to? <laughs> so, they have their own seats. What do you call these seats? Overalls. Overalls. Is it different to my one? Yeah. Oh, I was gonna come for all fashionable. These are helmets, these are the boots. So I'm going to take all of this. Where do I get changed? You put this on top? Yeah. Okay. You just need some late night attention, unconditioned, all that you're missing in my head. Fucked up. Shouldn't even just fall. The helmet. Oh my god, I feel so big. Yeah. I feel like a snowball. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's so cool. Did you introduce me? Did you tell you what your name is? I told you, I'm Alexandra. Alexandra. Yeah. Lydia and Alexandra. Hi. It's going to be the two of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I look like, um, have you watched Robocop? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I look like. <laughs> Snow quadding, not yeah. snowmobiling. What's the difference? Quad is a, uh, uh, like a quad, but with tracks. Okay. I've been to, I've, I've been quad biking in yeah. the desert. Yeah. Kind of similar? Yeah, exactly. These helmets are way cooler. I've got like a plain black one. The sun's coming out. This is nice. Wow. These look badass. Private lesson. Look at that. Are we going anywhere like really high up or really low down? Or... Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alexandra, I like him. So I've just had my little lesson on how to turn it on, how to turn it off, brakes, um, acceleration, all of the above. And um, if I need to turn, you are meant to turn and use your whole entire body. Because I'm quite a small person. <laughs> Compliments. You don't need it. <laughs> right, let's see. Can I get on it? I get it on As you can see, it's quite cold, but I don't actually feel the cold. One, I've got two ski layers, and it's not even that cold, actually. I'm so freaking excited. Oh, I've got a Is it like a fox or something? Yeah, it's, a rabbit. <laughs> it's a rabbit. Oh, okay. We should find it and eat it. 
<laughs> How's my driving so far? I think you're doing good. Yeah? yeah. A bit slow? No, I, I, we always keep in the top because there's so many hidden corners in the curve so you don't see what's in it for me. Yeah. So if you come too fast, you will not be able to stop. To see, yeah. I wish I had like a GoPro in my head so that you could see everything as we're going along. This is a lake that we're driving on. Can you believe that? So Alexander said that this lake is like a fully functioning lake, obviously, in the summertime. And at the moment, we are probably on about 40 centimetres worth of snow. How cool. This is an actual, actual lake. I can't believe that. Um, and then it melts and it just goes back to being water. And that usually happens around April, right? Yeah. Around April time. But for now, look at us on snow quads on top of a lake. My dad is going to be having a heart attack. He's going to be like, what did you do? <laughs> the snow is reflecting. Obviously, the lighting bangs. Absolutely bangs. I've got Alex taking pictures of me already. <laughs> he seems tired, but it's fine. <laughs> He's like, again? <laughs> more pictures? Oh, plenty more to go, Alex. It's really, really, really nice. I love it. And what I love about these quads is that these handlebars are actually heated, so when you're driving, your hands are so toasty. Do you know what? When I had my helmet halfway, yeah. you can feel the wind in your face. And it's so painful, isn't it? It's wind chill. You can, dry it. You can put this, this one up a bit. And then oh, that's what this is for. See? I bought stuff. I've got stuff on Amazon. All the gear, no idea. Okay, we're gonna carry on. Are we gonna go across the lake? Yep. Can we do wheelies in the lake? Can we go around? <laughs> yeah, we so used to tired of me. <laughs> My cab is literally waiting for me. Perfect timing. Thank you so much. That was so much fun. So, so, so much fun. I highly recommend. You know what? You know what time it is. Rich auntie time. Oh, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. I told Amma I'm planning on stealing these glasses. You know when you like borrow something from a friend and you accidentally forget to give it back? That's the plan with these glasses. Though she's heard me now, so maybe I can't do that. <laughs> back with Amma. Amma, say good morning. Morning. We still want the 12, Amma. There we go. There's Amma. Uh, now we're going to go to the um, cable car and try and do it today. The weather is so beautiful. Next time I'm going to come back and do like fishing. Wow, Amma going slow in the snow? She must have fallen one too many times. Huh? Amma, your top three um, essentials for this trip, quick. Top three essentials, okay, number one, Yeah. moon boots. I don't think moon boots are like the dumb thing. They're not, however, but have you been cold at all? Not once. Wet? Absolutely not once. Number two, I think some warm clothes, like one ski suit. Oh, if yeah. you're going to ski, you need just the one. one. You don't need to do Instagram, babe. So, three. I would say a bum bag, like this. <laughs> this bum bag she's been going on this about bum bag. for 10 years. Honestly, just this quick. You really need to have your hands free, so back backpack or bum bag. Yeah, the third thing that's come to me, it's like a snood. I'm not wearing it right now, but when we were quad biking or snow, snow quadding, it was so essential because my face is freezing. So again, second day in a row, the ski cable is closed, the cable lift is closed. I'm so annoyed. So today it's closed because they, it was too cold last night, it snowed last night. So on the line there's plenty of ice and they have to remove it or wait for it to melt. So today no wind, just ice. So we can't get on it, what a bummer. Though they did say that if you want to come and try it out, you can go and check on the website before you leave your house. We should have probably done that, but we are literally like five minutes down the road, so it's fine. But me. But uh, that means I have to come back. This one wants to go skiing so badly, so... Yeah, I can't wait to come back, honestly. When I, yeah, I already said this. <laughs> That's a bit annoying. That would have been our last activity here, but sadly, it hasn't been that way. Our train is at 3.50, so we'll leave probably at like 3-ish to get ready. But until then, we have a little bit of time here. Okay. So we're back here at Broken again. <laughs> we're gonna go in here and have some Swedish meatballs. Change of plan, we are coming in here instead. Matam pizza. It's meant to be a bistro. They got meatballs, apparently. Meatballs. 
not been Sweden and not have Swedish meatballs. Um, I'm not getting a meatball, it's more like a meatball steak, that's what she said. Basically a big flat meatball with some mash and the sauce. And it's nice and warm and cozy in here and I get a cider to go with it as well. It's really really popular. Beer and cider are really popular around here. Thank you very much. This is it. Though I find it a bit odd that all of the ciders are always served in like wine glasses. I'm going to use you guys when you toast you. We're going to clink because what? And it's ghetto. You right, you right. That looks so pretty. Look at it. It's so cozy in here. popped up as a reminder this is so smart got a reminder that we've got a train to catch it's nearly two o'clock and our train is coming at 3 50. we've got a nice reminder i'm gonna finish our food we have just got back from the restaurant the food was delicious i'm so happy that i finally got the swedish delicacy before we went to the cable car we checked out so now I just need to go take this wig off i'm gonna change to my trackies i'm gonna get comfortable because we have the seven hour journey back to Stockholm. Then from Stockholm we've got one night stay, what well, kind of like six hour stay. And we have a really really early morning flight at seven o'clock in the morning. So that has been Ahre Sweden. Let me know what you guys think. How did you think we got on the skiing? Because I think we did a really really good job of it. I definitely want to come back to like a ski holiday. Initially I was so so worried because you guys know I hate being cold. I was complaining the whole time in New York that I was cold. But I'm starting to realise that I just wasn't adequately dressed in New York. Here, the boots, 10 out of 10. Love the the warmer clothes. Shout out to ASOS, Boohoo, Misguided for all of the warm pieces. Honestly, it's kept up so, so warm. And of course, a huge, huge thank you to my sponsors, Omeo, for bringing us out here to the slopes. An amazing experience. 10 out of 10, definitely would recommend. Especially for beginners as well. I feel like it wasn't too intimidating, it wasn't as bad. Be sure to check out my description box below where I have left the link for you to go and check out the app. And until next time guys, I shall see you in my next video.